Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am with Alexandra uh, Steiner and she, I'm walking on her back because she was here before. Um, and if you don't know her, you should. <laughs> uh, that's true, right? But just for people that don't, that are just newbies, just tell me a little bit about yourself. I mean, this is like just a most, smidgen. No, I, no. Like this is like the most unnatural, natural conversation <laughs> we're ever gonna have because we know each other so well. Um, but say I didn't know you. If you didn't know me, I would say I've been a beauty editor for a very long time, but I'm not gonna say how long. <laughs> um, uh, working in print magazines, uh, working on shoots, writing, you know, talking about new products. I've always been the product junkie though, as you know. That's true. I'm always that girl who like, when we were shooting, I was more interested in what like you were using. What's that? What was that? <laughs> so Literally like yeah. on everything. And, and, um, and I think, you know, it was only natural that eventually um, I left to kind of do my own thing on Instagram and, uh, you know, work on some products. Hasn't she done well? <laughs> No, he's super exciting. Um, obviously, I know Alexandra from uh, doing editorial beauty shoots, and we've done quite a lot and amazing ones, actually. So because she's a uh, makeup junkie, if you want to know anything about anything, uh, look at Alexandra's um, Instagram or stories. I think when I was younger, I would just try loads of stuff because my skin kind of could take anything. Yeah. And I think then as you get older, more the fact that when I got more experienced and more knowledgeable about ingredients specifically, I kind of know what I, my skin can and can't take. So right. I'm not going to pretend that I try, you know, my skin's more dry, you know, to dehydrate it. So of course, when there's products for acne prone skin, I'm not going to try that because yeah. that ain't going to work on me. Um, so I think definitely the whole idea of knowing about ingredients, but also knowing, especially in skincare, less so in makeup, but in skincare, it's so important to know what you can use with what. Do you yeah, know what I mean? No, like not true. to use, let's say, an acid of vitamin C and a retinol at the same time and that kind of stuff. So yeah. once you know what works together, that's how you get the best out of it. So I don't test stuff in a bizarre way. The way yeah, I yeah. test is I'll introduce one thing at a time. Like if someone says to you, have you tried this? Mm. Is that really where you get your reference point from or is it more if people send you stuff? I think I'm, I'm so curious and I'm always wanting to find something new, but you know, I ask you like, what what are you drinking at the moment? Like, what teas are you drinking? Yeah. What exercise are you doing? Yeah. You know, what it's makeup are you wearing? What sunscreen are you wearing? What hair are you doing? Like, I'm always wanting to kind of find and out. And I feel a bit boring when I just say the same thing. No, but, but sometimes you just get stuck into stuff, right? No, but there's also, look, there are products like Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair that I've yeah. been going on about for like 15 years and yeah. I still use it and I love it and it works for me and I think it's fantastic. So I do, like you, I do have, product, be it makeup, skin, like your hair, core. that are my core that I will always use, but then you kind of weave in new things. Yeah. But also skin, you know, people say, oh, you need one regimen. I think skin changes on a daily basis yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I think you you're know? right. Like this week, you were, because when I walked in, she did say to me, you look really tired. And I was like, thanks. Oh, I didn't mean it. Because you didn't mean it, because you're honest. But you know what it was? It's because this week I've literally, I haven't stopped. I've been out like from morning to night. I've had lots of events. I've had dinners and stuff. So that's a time when my skin, you know, when you go out and let's say you eat a bit differently, you don't sleep enough, maybe you will have some alcohol, you're more dehydrated. So I'm definitely upping my hydration. I'm having more hyaluronic acid in my skincare. So you do have to change your skincare according to, you know, your lifestyle, you doing? how much you're sleeping, what climate you're also, in. Also, I did know time the shoes going Sorry, out. but it's true. Time of the month, I've got a spot on my chin. <laughs> I never have spots. I was like, I can't believe today I'm filming with you. I'm like, the one, like, my skin's always kind of decent, and today I've got this massive spot. Yeah, but that's okay, because you're a real person. Am I? And don't you think oh, models no. have spots? <laughs> don't you think models have spots? They do. I know, but they have makeup taken off, off, on and off constantly, yeah. and, like, their lifestyles, you know, I actually, you know... I don't you think actresses have spots? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they do, but, you know, they're not but skincare not, experts. But not today. <laughs> they're not, not today. Experts. Not today.